Hey guys, welcome to Tactor's tutorial. Today, we are going to talk about how to convert Figma design to letter code. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So if you're searching for this cutting edge design and a collaboration software, just click the link in the description box below to get started with Figma today and get redirected onto this page. And if you're not familiar with this, we're going to go ahead and do a quick overview on what is Figma. This is actually a software program that designers use to create digital user interfaces for website, apps, and other interactive experiences. So it's like a digital canvas where designers can draw, lay out, and prototype how an app or website should look and function. It is actually a powerful design tool. As you can see, you can also work together in real time and empower designers to create in new ways. So you could go ahead and co-create with your friends or even your teammates. And you could also make your designs feel real. So you could create realistic prototypes that allow for quick iteration on flows and states. So you also have this feature on the Figma where you could go ahead and bring design and depth closer. So this is a new space in Figma for developers. So this brings clarity to designs and give the developers the tools they need to translate them into code so you could also scale design and development and you could also align with your team using FitJam. so this is an online whiteboard where everybody who builds products can collaborate so you could use it to bring your team together in new ways from kickoffs and stand-ups to rituals and brick rows so if you want to start designing with figma you're just going to go ahead and click on the get started for free so that you could go ahead and create an account now signing up onto Figma is really easy. You're just going to go ahead and continue with Google in here if you have a Google account or you could type in your email, password, agree to join Figma's mailing list and then go ahead and create an account. So by clicking that, you should agree to the Figma TOS and privacy policy. You could also use a single sign up and if you have an account already, just simply click on the login. And personally, onto every website that I've encountered, I'll just go ahead and try to continue with Google so that I don't have to remember the email and password. I'll just gonna go ahead and click onto my Google account. Now, right after a quick creation process or a logging in, you should get redirected onto Figma's dashboard. So onto the dashboard, you should be able to see here onto the upper left, your account settings. So you have, you could choose a theme in here, the settings, you could also get the desktop app your account you could also add in another account and the log out option then right after you could go ahead and see your notifications in here the search bar so that you could go ahead and search for the files teams or different people you could see the recent also design in here so if you click onto that these are my recent design onto my account you could also see your teams graphs and if you're running out of files in your free team you could go ahead and upgrade to give your ideas and design room to grow without limits so let's click on the view plan to choose a plan that is right for you so you could actually choose from monthly to yearly so currently we're using the starter which is free for trying things out we also have professional which is the most popular and this is for you and your team with unlimited files and all the pro features and the organization for bringing teams together sharing an organizational white design system and many more so you could go ahead and just click onto that grade if you see anything that you're interested in and here onto the bottom part you could click onto this so that you could see all features and compare them onto the different plan now right after let's head back onto the dashboard so you could see the different favorite files in here so if you hover onto any file just like this you're gonna see this star button in here you could just click onto that so that you could go ahead and add it here onto the favorite file so let's just unfavorite this you could also see the teams and you could also create a new team in here and the explore community so here on to the explore community you should be able to see the figma community wherein you could explore a thousand of free and paid templates plugins and ui kits to kickstart your next big idea so you could search everything here onto the search bar you could find inspiration team syncs design system visual assets and development and if you scroll down in here you could discover onto what is new and scrolling down further you should be able to see the different communities design so you could go ahead and browse through that so that you could get inspiration you could also use the plugins or anything that would help you onto your design process 
Now let's just go ahead and head back to the dashboard in here and let's try to find it as a design that we could go ahead and try to export to Flutter. So let's gonna browse here onto the recent design that I have onto my account. So we have this template in here. Let's just go ahead and try to click onto this one so that we could try and go ahead to have this one transferred to Flutter. So this is actually the template that we have chosen but if you have a design already ready for there, you don't need to use any templates already. You're just gonna go ahead and try to have this one started out onto your own design so what you'll need to do here onto this part is you'll just need to finalize everything and try to make sure that everything you want to see is already onto your app or your website so you could utilize the tools that we have onto figma you could use a select tool the frame you could also add in a shape or you could also use a pen tool add in a text choose onto the resources pen tool and add in a comment now here onto the left side just a quick overview onto the editing page you can see the different layers of your design the assets and also here onto the upper part is the file wherein you can see the different options as well now here onto the right side you should be able to update any designs in here change the color of it add in some text or anything and then here you could also see the prototype so this is where you could create some connection or or try to run in a prototype so that you could go ahead and see some things or actions or interactions onto your design now here onto the upper part you should be able to see who is into the design you could share it to your team members just gonna go ahead and type in their email with a comma separated and you could go ahead and publish this do a quick preview and also try to adjust the scale in here now to get started onto transferring this if you're also not familiar onto the other tool that we're going to use this is actually flutter so this is a software framework developed by google that is used to build user interfaces for mobile apps web application and desktop application so this is special because it allows developers to create apps for different platforms using a single code base so connecting this with figma is important because it streamlines the app development process the figma is a popular design tool and also by connecting this designers and developers can work together more efficiently so designers can easily share the figma designs with developers who then use design as a starting point for building the actual app using flutter so this connection helps ensure that the app design closely matches the original vision saving and reducing potential miscommunication between designers and developers so in simple terms it is like making the app development process more smoother and more collaborative so you could just go ahead and install flutter if you still doesn't have this one and for us to get started onto transporting already we're just gonna go ahead and open your browser and navigate to function 12.io so you could just choose your preferred browser in there and try to click onto the first one that will show and then right after head back to your figma project in here and then you'll just need to copy the project link in here so for us to be able to copy the project link just head back onto the share button that we've discussed earlier you could see a copy link button in here copy that head back to function 12 and then paste it in here so we're gonna go ahead and paste it and then we're gonna go ahead and try to click onto translate for free now right after function 12 would like to access your account and be able to just browse through this read files read and modify comments read projects read components read your name view a list of your recent files and then just click on to allow access so we're just gonna wait for that one and as you can see it is starting to create a project so it is actually importing and it has a time frame as well on how long it would take so we'll just have to wait for that now right after that that is just so quick you could go ahead and see your design already exported onto function 12 so if you're new actually they will give you a quick tour on how it works so you could go ahead and do the quick tour but since this is just for a tutorial we're just gonna go ahead and skip onto that so how it looks is actually similar onto figma so you should be able to see the different layers in here and the different tools here onto the upper part now you could also do a quick preview onto clicking onto this button in here now if you actually try to click also onto different things in here or different design you could go ahead and try to click onto the code view in here so that you could go ahead and copy the code up to it so as you can see you could choose from elements scene css object css and group css and for it to be able to be exported to flutter there is an export button in here and then you'll just need to sign up for for you to be able to do the export and you should be able to see the flutter option in there and now since we have signed in our account already we could see the flutter icon already in here just click onto that so that you could go ahead and try to export your design and as you can see it has prompted a download file in here so you could just go ahead and start the download in here and open this onto your flutter account and you should go ahead and convert your design in just few steps you've learned how to seamlessly convert your figma design into flutter code using function 12.io and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like 
subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on to our next video